what's up everybody welcome back to another example chart from exotic astrology and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel then please subscribe and click in the notifications button so that you keep getting the updates okay and before beginning i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will be there and today is a very beautiful chart of one of my friends okay he is a very good friend of mine and he is currently studying in the most prestigious college in India, in Bangalore, which is known as the Indian Institutes of Management, IIM Bangalore, okay. He is studying MBA degree there, which is very prestigious for any Indian to be pursuing. And there's a lot of competition to get into this college. There are hundreds and thousands of people who write the exam. And he's one of the few who have ultimately made it. Okay. And I know this person very well. So today we will discuss about his horoscope and his life in short. Okay. So now the first thing is the first thing first. <laughs> So the first thing to see here is he is an Aries ascendant because the number one is in the first house itself. Again, I am reminding you this is not the sign, it is the house, okay? But for an Aries ascendant, the house and the numbering, uh, the zodiac becomes same, okay? So this is the first house, this itself is the second house and this itself is the tenth house, okay? So... Aries ascendant. Aries ascendant means these people will have a lot of fighting spirit, okay, a lot of energy, a lot of passion, a lot of vigor inside them, okay. And the planet who is ruling his first house is gone to the ninth house, okay, Mars is sitting here, okay. That means this person will be very much interested in topics like religion, occult, spirituality, okay. And which he is undoubtedly, there's no doubt about it. I know him personally. He is very much interested in all these topics and he is planning to become a vegetarian also now. Okay, keeping into consideration the slaughter of the animals which happens, which is not good because they are also the child of God. They also deserve to live. Yes. Now, this is a beautiful placement. This is a Raj Yoga in astrology. Lord of the Ascendant sitting in the 5th house or ninth house is considered extremely auspicious. We will discuss about Raja Yogas later. Okay. So the person will always seek good counsel of the Guru because ninth house is the Guru. Okay. And he will also get good advice. Why am I saying this? Because Mars is in the sign of Sagittarius which is a very friendly sign for Mars to be in. Okay. He will be very lucky in this matter of getting counsel from the gurus and from his seniors okay now apart from this he has the ruler of the second house and seventh house which is venus placed in the eighth house in the nakshatra of anuratha okay so eighth house is a sudden occurring house so suddenly he can meet his spouse or suddenly he might encounter women with whom he becomes very close suddenly does not mean suddenly everything happens suddenly of course but it can be something very unusual very uh, something which would have not happened in a usual procedure it could be a bit unusual the way they meet okay and because venus is in scorpio in the nakshatra of anuradha so the girl is likely to be very friendly okay which she is also his girlfriend and here, uh, the Mercury, Mercury is also placed with Venus, okay. So, this will make uh, his uh, wife very extremely social. She will have a lot of friends, okay. She will be very much talkative in nature, okay. And apart from this, if you see the third house, third house has Ketu in it, okay. So, Ketu... Is the planet which does not have this head okay so wherever ketu sits you kind of feel that as if you do not have the head in matters of that area okay which simply means that that house is going to function sometimes as if 
it is not existing in your chart okay <laughs> now what is the third house here third house is the house of younger sibling also okay so his relationship with the younger brother is not that great okay uh, there is a very much there's a very distant it's a very distant relationship okay they don't talk to each other much and it is not a very heartily welcoming relationship okay now jupiter is placed in the fifth house okay which is fabulous he's a very good person by nature very good internally okay and the ruler of the ninth house jupiter is sitting in the fifth house which is again fabulous because it is looking back to the ninth house with its fifth aspect whenever a lord of a particular house aspects its own house the house is considered to be extremely powerful okay so jupiter is in the fifth house so lots of blessings that will come after birth of children okay so he's lucky in this regard okay and jupiter is aspecting the ninth house and the fifth house and the first house itself and the eleventh house okay so jupiter in the uh, jupiter aspecting the first house shows that whenever any struggle or difficulty comes to his life he will always seek the counsel of gurus and counselors and spiritual teachers okay that is why jupiter in the first fifth or ninth is considered to be a very big blessing because either ways it aspects the lagna or is associated with the lagna which means the person will seek the counsel of the scriptures and god and godly personalities whenever he is in distress or whenever he is confused or before he decides to do something major okay so this person although he has a girlfriend he once approached me and said that uh, i am fine with this girl but can you tell me what does astrology say regarding our relationship okay what is the will of the gods please tell me <laughs> so that's the greatness of this person that he he can just say oh i don't believe all this astrology and all this these are just nonsense these are things of the past i will do whatever i want i will just get whatever i want nobody is there to stop me now the fiery aries energy he could have used it that way but that's his greatness he did not do it he always consults the will of the gods okay and he's very much interested in reading the ancient uh, scriptures like the ramayana the mahabharat Shrimad Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita, etc. Okay, and he's also interested in matters of religion. Okay, so this is fabulous. Jupiter in the first, uh, first, fifth, or ninth is considered fabulous. Now, unfortunately, the ninth house, which is the house of the father, has Sun, Moon, and Mars and Rahu. So Sun, Mars are very much fiery planets, and Rahu is a deadly enemy because we have discussed in the group of friends, Suras are the Sun, Moon, Mars, and Jupiter, and Asuras are Venus, Mercury, Saturn, and Rahu. Okay, so Rahu is the one who eclipses the Sun and Moon. Okay, so. his relationship with the father is also not very great okay because of which the moon which is been tossed here sometimes the mother has to act as the mediator between him and his father <laughs> and also mars his brother is placed here okay and we already saw ketu's placement in the third house a very distant relationship with his brother and as if this was less mars is also sitting here okay in this war zone sun rahu that is like a war zone which is happening with mars <laughs> so the relationship with the father is also not very good uh, there are many disagreements and uh, at times many issues where they just end up realizing that it's better for them to maintain distance <laughs> well that's karma okay now Saturn is sitting in the tenth house here in its own sign, forming a very powerful Mahapurush Yoga here. This is called Sasha Mahapurush Yoga. Sasha Mahapurush Yoga is formed when Saturn is sitting in Capricorn or Aquarius or Libra, number ten, eleven, or seven in the Kendra. Okay, in one of the four Kendras. So here. Saturn, you know what a Kendra house is, right? The first, fourth, seventh, and tenth. They represent the pillar, the power of the horoscope. 
and especially 10th house is a very powerful place for saturn to be in okay so saturn is in its own sign capricorn in the 10th house forming sasha mahapurush yog this mahapurush yog makes the person extremely hard working okay extremely determined extremely perseverant and this person has the power to drink a lot of poison because saturn shows saturn is also uh, lord shiva signifies saturn in some way he also signifies jupiter but he also signifies saturn because saturn is a great devotee of lord shiva so when saturn is extremely strong in a person's chart you understand that this person has the ability to drink poison and uh, stand up irrespective of whatever happens in his life okay and this yoga is there in the 10th house of career so it can make him very hard working and he has cleared many 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 competitive exams which is not possible for the ordinary public to crack okay because of saturn's presence presence in the 10th house it is extremely powerful there and lot of the 11th house of money is also in the 10th house so all his money will come from his workplace okay and if i would end this k2 from the third house aspects the 11th house with its ninth aspect so at times he feels that with his friends okay uh, there is kind of some distance with his friends also because uh, after all it is the aspect of k2 <laughs> but the funny thing is whenever he makes friend with spiritual personalities okay the friendship goes on long 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 so that's what ketu is telling you will not find happiness in mundane friendships doing gossip talking about movies talking about women talking about money you have to bring god into the picture unless you bring god i will not give you the 11th house okay which is the house of friends so you can have lot of friends who are connected to god okay and that's where he is very good at okay he has many friends who are connected to spiritual paths and he has not had any trouble with them okay but whenever he goes into mundane circles he feels left out he feels as if people don't uh, value him or value his opinion that is because of ketu in the third house aspecting the 11th house and the 7th house of other people okay so if he is not careful these issues can come up with his marriage also okay so he has to maintain a strong spiritual connection with his spouse okay otherwise things will go haywire here and if i would summarize this this is a very beautiful chart with many 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 raj yogas mars is under raj yoga moon is under raj yoga saturn is under mahapurush yoga jupiter is also very powerful here okay so and moon is also in the ninth house so his mother is also extremely religious okay and fifth house is the house of your children so the children are also likely to be religious here and spiritual which will be a great blessing for him okay so that's it from my side he is a very good friend of mine whose chart i have shown you now and one thing i forgot to say his sun moon and lord of the ascendant all three are in the ninth house of spirituality so spirituality will be a very important focus in his life okay because all the three significators of the self is in the ninth house seeking counsel from the gurus and the advisors on spiritual things like sagittarius is the sign right if it would be any other sign it would mean different but Sagittarius is core spirituality so that's it from my side if you have any questions queries or comments then please let me know okay bye bye see you